What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor 100, and you're going to be watching a Wi Fi battle video today. Awesome! Now, it's been a while, I know, but hey, you know what? When you have a chance to upload a video, you have that chance. I'm not gonna risk it, and uh, why would you want to risk the biscuit when you don't have to, right? Now, I hope you guys are doing well. It's almost Halloween. I'm not doing anything crazy, I'll just have a lot of candy, but, eh, you know, I'm getting too old for all the spooky and crazy costumes, if you know what I mean, but I also watch some horror, horror movies and munch on candy and whatnot, maybe play some Pokemon with ghost type Pokemon right there, but other than that, um, we have an awesome match today for you, now this is a match against myself and Alice, Alice is one of my roommates here, uh, he's not as competitive as I am, but this was still a great match, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be trying out a new Pokemon today, and you guessed it, it is Zerora. You can get Zerora into your Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon games by going to GameStop or Target and getting a code. I actually got this Zerora from Necrostevo, so shout out to Necrostevo there for the code. I appreciate it, man. And we should have a battle sometime. It's due time for a battle. Now, to pair up with Zerora, I'm actually going to be using Quarter, Venusaur, Mega, Houndoom, and Rhyper or, and Dragonite, and Behem. So, that is a good team. It's got good synergy, and you have that foundation core of water, grass, and fire. So, there you have that. Now, I do want to mention a few other things on my, on my end here. Um, Behem is actually not offensive. It's a more defensive, be, uh, more defensively sound Behem, I should say. It's got Reflect, Light Screen, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. And it's got Leftovers. I'm not letting him hold the Light Clay for some reason. Maybe that would have been a much better option, but that's neither here nor there. And Dragonite, um, this is actually my eighth Dragonite training, so it's a more mixed set that I have for him. But it's more standard than you would normally see on Dragonite. It's got Outrage, Iron Head, you know, you get the idea, right? Now you see my opponent has a lot of legendaries. That's okay, I don't know if that's slug. He's, again, not as competitive as I am, but he does have Lunala. He's got UC, Zygarde, 100% for him. And then Necrozma, excuse me. There you go. Necrozma, and uh, that is a huge threat. So I hope you guys enjoy this match. I'm going to go ahead and play this thing for you all. Remember to like that like button and subscribe for more battles. And uh, here we go. Enjoy. All right, you guys. So the battle is going to be starting right now. And I've decided to start out with Zerora. Because, for one thing, I have Volt Switch on him, so if I'm unable to stay in for too long, I can just use the Volt Switch move and get out of there. In this scenario, I really don't feel safe staying in against Necrozma. So here we go, we use Volt Switch. I am still working with Zerora and what moves I want to run on him, but right now it's got Volt Switch, Plasma Fist, uh, Close Combat, and... Thunder. So it's not as good as you might like it to be, but still in testing, that's all I have to tell you. Now I'm going to go into Behem here, Space Alien, a really good move on my end here because I am going to take this very strong attack from Necrozma, and I actually forgot what move that was. I think it was like Fling like Gazer or something like that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the point is, I'm able to take it. Now I'm going to use Light Screen which was a little bit dumb because I ended up uh, using it at the wrong time of the match. I mean, I guess it does have Dark Pulse with uh, Incineroar on here, but I was going to use Reflect after, but he flinches me. So that's the good thing about that for my opponent. Had I went for the Reflect, I might have been able to live a Darkest Lariat, but I don't know. Either way, but he, you did pretty good in this match, even though you were not there for too, too long. But, you know, you managed to get up the life screen, and it's going to come to help us out later. So, I'm not too worried about that. Now, with 
him going down right there, I'm going to go into Qualister to flatten out the center world with a water pulse. But I figured he was going to switch. So I'm going to use the dragon pulse on the off chance that he has... He does have Noivern, so I was thinking, oh, he might go into that. But no, he goes into Lunala, which is okay. I break his uh, Shadow Shield there, and I use Water Pulse, trying to see how much that's going to do. I have, I kind of tinker around with Qualiser, uh with different items, you know, with Choice Specs, Choice Scarf, Life Orb, Wise Glasses. But this battle, I have him holding the Mystic Water. I managed to survive a Moon Geist Beam, and I'm going to take him out with a few attacking moves right there. He does decide to go into Noivern, which is fine with me. I figured I could take a Dragon Pulse because, of course, the light screen. It's still in effect, guys. Gotta keep that in mind. Now, I was going to see how much a Water Pulse would do now that it's boosted with my item intact and whatnot. And there's also the possibility that I can be confused the Noivern, but I don't get that necessarily, but that's fine with me. <laughs> um, we're going to go into Houndoom here, Mega Houndoom, Top Dog, awesome. Now, I am not sure, like, I have Dark Pulse, yes, but I'm not sure if it's going to take him out, and he holds on with a little bit of HP. I can take this for sure, but it's a critical hit. Uh, Dang, that sucks. I am, I'm pretty sure the light screen is still up, but if I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it should be running out really soon. So I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse here. I'm not sure why my opponent switched out into Necrozma. Maybe he was expecting a different attacking move or something. Either way, Necrozma goes down, which is a huge sigh of relief for me. That's for sure. Now, I do want to preserve my Houndoom because I'm going to be using him later for something that is going to be related to this Pokemon right here, Zygarde. Now, Zygarde, even though it's in 100% form, is still a threat. And I wanted to try out this awesome Venusaur that I got from... Uh, I don't know where I got this Venusaur, but this is a shiny Venusaur, so you know how awesome it's going to be. It's a more offensive Venusaur, so I can't really take a land's wrath all too well, but I wanted to try him out. So do you remember me using Houndoom? Yes, right. So I'm going to bring him back because he's going to do a, something very awesome, and that's going to be using Destiny Bond, and you all know what that does. Since I'm seeing Zygarde as a huge threat for my team, I'm going to use Destiny Bond. I'm going to take him down with me. There you have it. And my opponent was like, why did you do that? But I'm like, hey, you know what? You're a huge threat, so I'm going to get rid of you. On the double gown, because those are the types of gowns that are proving to be very worthy nowadays, I'm going to go back into Zero Run, and we're going to try out close combat. And unfortunately, because this Zero Run is not EV trained yet, it is partially EV trained, but it's not fully. And that was kind of dumb, because... Uh, I'm unable to take out Incineroar, and that means that Zerora is going to go down to the Malicious Moonsault, the Z-Power move that Incineroar has access to, and it's pretty badass if you ask me, but Zerora, you did very well in your debut on the battlefield, so uh, hopefully your sophomore match goes as smoothly. Uh, I'm sorry to let you go down like that, but that's just what happens sometimes. This is my last Pokemon, Dragonite, and we have to take care of Incineroar with this Earthquake right here. We can do that very easily. Nicely done. And now we're going to deal with, we have to deal with Noivern and UC. So we haven't seen UC yet. This is UC right here. So I hit the battlefield for the first time in this video. And I've known from experience that UC is pretty powerful, but I do have the multi-scale intact. It is broken now, but hey, you know what? I'm going to use it right now, so awesome. Now he uses extra sensory, which is a lot weaker than psychic, but either way, I'm going to survive at whatever roof he wants to go for, honestly. Unfortunately, I get confused right here, and this is going to be
be because remember he has Moivern and Moivern is faster than Dragonite. So if I am still confused that I hit myself, the match is gonna be over. We do take out UC, but like I said, you know, this is pretty much a good game if I hit myself in confusion. Otherwise, we can reverse the cables and I will not be confused. And guess what? So Moivern goes for Dragon Pulse right here. We'll see how much this does. It's going to do a huge amount of damage. Super effective. We snap out of confusion. Now, if I hit myself in confusion one more time, my opponent would have won the match. So, that was a huge 50 50 right there. But, you know, I got lucky in the end. So, I guess you can't complain about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this small match. I thought this would be a great way to get back to the channel, trying out Zerora. I hope you guys enjoy seeing Zerora as well, and uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for more matches going forward. I will be as active going forward as I can, and uh, I'll be active on Twitter as well. You can follow me on Twitter at China Connor, China underscore Connor. There you go, and uh, have a great day, guys.